Hi, this is Lenny at AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very basic download button for the contents of a container field. Let's say you have multiple users of your solution, and the first user wants to upload some kind of document like an invoice or a photo or anything that can go into a container field, and another user down the line wants to download that document. Today we're going to make a button that can do that. So here you see we have a record for a sweet guitar. So let me go ahead and drag in a picture of a sweet guitar. This is a JPEG file and we're going to make a button that will download a copy of this whenever we want to. So let's go to layout mode and we're going to grab a, a button bar, make it one button. Let's give it a nice icon so people know what we want to do with it. We'll make it a little bigger and we'll call it download. Now we only need to do one step for this particular function and that is the export field contents uh, step. So what we're going to want to do is specify the target field. In this case it is file container and for uh, the most basic purposes that's all you need to do. If we hit OK and go back to browse mode we can hit this download button and it will open a very familiar dialog box where we can name it whatever we want, we can save it wherever we want, and then it also gives us the options to open it automatically. And we can even create an email with this file as an attachment right away. That's pretty cool, but what if you want to save it to a specific location? For example, I have this product photos uh, folder here. Let's cancel and go back to layout mode. And we'll go back into this single step. If we want to, we can specify where it goes when it's downloaded automatically, so we don't have to choose every time we hit the button. Uh, you can, if you know the file path for where you want it to be saved, you can go ahead and enter that in. You can even use variables in your file path names. And you can uh, set those two settings that I described earlier to happen automatically also. You can also save it, uh, create a name for it if you want. So we're going to call this product photo and we're going to save it in product photos, which is already set up for us to go. So it will automatically download into that folder when we're ready. So that's all set to go. Let's hit OK. Back to browse mode. And uh, you'll see, let's see, product photos, inside product photos, there's this untitled text document. Now let's just hit the download, the download button. And there we go. Product photo, there it is, product photo. And there we go, there is our sweet guitar. So there you have it a basic download button and a little bit of advanced options for you if you're interested. Thanks very much. See you next time.